All right, today we are gonna be tackling another project on the Aero 50. Uh, what we're running into is an issue with the exhaust hitting the frame. Uh, let me go ahead and take you guys around here and show you what I'm talking about. So right here, this is the bike on its stand. And then if I lower it all the way down, you can see just how close this thing is to the frame. It's actually cooking it a little bit. So our plan today is to take the stock mount and we're gonna cut it, stretch it out a little bit and weld it. So it's probably not really the style, but um, it's gonna let us do what we need to with the bike. Cause I do wanna get a little bit lower because the way it is right now, it's just, it's not enough. Um, so we're gonna do that, cut, weld, see how this thing is sitting once I get that, uh, that engine mount stretched out and then we'll uh, catch back up with you. All right, so we got this pretty much mocked up. Ooh. It looks like we're, we measured this about two and a half inches that we're going to have to extend the engine mount, but that should get us exactly where we need. Oh, watch out for this guy. Oh. I'm just taking a nap, you don't worry about me. <laughs> but looks like it's going to get us where we want. Uh, I think it kind of gives it a pretty cool look, so, um, but it's definitely going to give us that clearance that we need between the exhaust and the frame and allow us to get lower. So that's the plan. We're going to go ahead and execute. All right, we've got our mount off, and we've got it in the vise, marked where we want to cut it with the scribe. And these are the tools of the trade. We're gonna use young Floppa here to uh, to slice this bad boy off. Young Floppa. Yep. Come on down to David's circumcision shop. <laughs> we'll give you the best cut in town. <laughs> great prices. Yep. All right, the initial cut is done. There's a. Uh, no turning back now, so <laughs> that's it. Wag bitches. Who's the ass? Scally wag bitches. <laughs> Got it. So I really wanted to get some one inch square tubing, but unfortunately, all that Home Depot had that was reasonably priced and in stock was this uh, kind of L bracket bar stock. So we're gonna use this, make a few cuts, cut out about four pieces, and then we will use it to assemble the actual structure that's gonna stretch that mount. Hey. <laughs> I'm like, what? <coughs> oh my God. What was it all that salsa and coffee? <laughs> what was in that scallywag? Yeah, it's good. All right, got that grinded down a little bit. Going to uh, get some alcohol to wipe that off. Yeah. Let's get it. Do revert to bonky. He's <laughs> tucked. It just collapses. <laughs> Bro, it looks fucking crazy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's like on the fender. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna have to raise it up one more. I'm gonna have to tighten my belt by one notch. What are you going to do to me, Daddy? Tighten my belt by one loop so I don't feel hunger pains. And your sister and mother will have to do likewise. Okay, Joshua, you want to get rough with me? You want to show me that you don't like the choice of this house for our vacation by going on a hunger strike? Well, I'll accept the challenge. But just remember, when I was your age, I really did suffer from hunger. We'll see who gets through this. But just remember, I've got more practice than you. So your mom and your sister. It's going to be on the table. And I'm hitting you with all the bankers at your wedding. I'm going to request them all from the DJ. Don't give him anything he wants. Here's the list that the, the bride wants. Are you sure she wants the hamster song and pull up to the after party? Listen, <laughs> why do you have it written down as the capybara song? <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> I mean, I think, I think that's all I'm getting, dude. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you were recording my asshole. Yeah. <laughs> That's how close it is in the back, dude. Is it gonna smell like this? Probably. Where the turbo? Ah, heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just hit me. Prylas <laughs> Echo TC, if you're listening. Sponsor us. Sponsor. I'm digging it, man. Yeah, looks cool. Yeah, we just need to go up just a tiny bit more. So explain to the people how you are doing this. So on this side, we've removed the, uh, the actual coil spring from the strut. And uh, we got bushings in here and we're kind of stacking them up to uh, get more length in there. So I think what we need to do is pull some out of the front shocks. Uh, or I actually might have some in my car. Unless you've got a few big, thick boy washers we can put in there. All right, so we are done grinding, welding, getting this thing all put together. I'm just coating it with some of this uh, VHT high temp paint. Uh, I don't really know how much temp this thing's gonna see down there, but this stuff's pretty durable. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a couple coats, let it dry, and then show you what it looks like finished on the bike. All right, here we go, we got the finished product. Um, I went through and actually had to re-weld some of these joints. I think the welder we were using at David's was running out of gas, so I went through, grinded everything off, put in some new welds, smoothed them out, and then uh, hit this thing with some paint, and it uh, looks pretty good. Can't really complain. I mean, the inside could be better, but whatever. This thing is definitely gonna hold. It's pretty strong. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing thrown back on the scooter, and then we will uh, take it out for a ride and see how it looks. Well guys, unfortunately it's been pretty difficult to get rollers of this thing when I'm by myself. So we'll have to do a proper video shoot of this in the future once I can link up with David and do that. Uh, but for now, here's a quick clip of me riding this thing looking like an absolute gorilla. Uh, so enjoy. You don't want the smoke. <laughs> 